On se rodio u Jermeniji, školovu u Americi, živo i zaljubio se u Kazahstanu, a za svoj dom je odabrao Srbiju. Njegov sin je prohodao u jednom novobeogradskom hotelu, a poslušava samo kad mu se obratite na Srpsku. Upoznajte porodicu Gevorgijan, koja je za svoj dom i za svoju kafeteriju odabrala Beograd. Ako je dom tamo gde je srce, ko uopšte dovodi u pitanje puteve duše? So guys, please tell me what brings you to Serbia. I can say love. We visited Serbia two years ago, and we really fell in love with people here, with the city. Belgrade is lovely city for young family like we, and we back to Kazakhstan. And we decided to back to Belgrade for living. We are here for seven months. Uh, first, uh, it was a little problem for us with all these documentations, and uh, I don't know. I, I don't speak Serbian very, very well, and. My wife, she's the one who is speaking, <laughs> and uh, a little. <laughs> yes, and uh, the idea of this place uh, is coming from a long time ago. We wanted this kind of place, something coffee with photography, and uh, wait, yes, you are a photographer and you are a makeup artist. Now, yes, <laughs> yes, uh, and. Uh, I told my wife, why don't we try? Why don't we try to open a place like this? We found uh, this local not far from our apartment. We live not far from here, and uh, we did it. We opened, ready to Very work. Quick. Uh, yes, it was one month. One month we prepared everything. everything. <laughs> <laughs> yes, it was one month of work, and uh, we opened on June seven. Uh, we opened with a really good ex exhibition of one uh, Serbian photographer. He presented his work here. Uh, we got lots of interesting people on the first day. Everybody was surprised about a place like this. And Especially in New Belgrade. In New Belgrade, <laughs> yes. I even had one uh, Serbian photographer who told me, you are crazy to open this kind of place in New Belgrade because pretty much all uh, places like this, they open in Old Town because yes. uh, most artists living on that yes. side of the town. Uh, yeah, <laughs> this is it. <laughs> It's a nice uh, place. I can say it's one of the best places for moms with small baby because, uh, because of the weather. For example, in Kazakhstan winter it's like about um, 30 uh, degrees under zero. So you can go outside at all. <laughs> it's terrible. Uh, this winter in Serbia we spent all day outside <laughs> because uh, for us it's warm. And uh, of course, people, everyone speaks with my baby outside. First time, I was really in shock. You know, why are you talking with him? It's not your, you know, close uh, baby of close uh, friend or something. And it's no matter for people; they just love children. And uh, uh, everyone say. Oh, koji plavi oki ti imaš? And everyone tried to kiss him, and for me it's big, big pleasure, like for mom, because it's nice to see when people love, love your baby, just without reason, you know. Did anyone told you that you're crazy for opening the coffee shop? Except it's in New Belgrade. Uh, yes, it was. A, it was a, um, 
owner for a different coffee shop, he told me, you're crazy to open a coffee shop. Well, I said, crazy like you. <laughs> We moved here when he was uh, 10 months and in that week he started to walk. In a hotel. In the hotel, we, yes. We lived in a hotel for seven days while we were trying to find an apartment and uh, he started walking. Mm -hmm. uh, yes. yes. And it's the very good for kids to travel. When they travel they grow a bit faster and I guess he grew up too fast <laughs> for this uh, six hours Yo. playing play. <laughs> What do you find difficult here in Serbia? Uh, maybe about smoking. <laughs> For me, like for mom, it's a big problem. Uh, when we decided to open this coffee shop, we asked together is it, it will be smoking or non-smoking and uh, we uh, just to try open non-smoking <laughs> place and we hope that people who don't, uh, doesn't smoke will appreciate it and of course uh, uh, we uh, learn about coffee and coffee the best absorber of uh, smells especially uh, smokes and uh, um, uh, we want to sell good coffee without bad smell <laughs> so yeah. for us it's important uh, their weather in Serbia is pretty good. <laughs> Believe me, in Kazakhstan you can smoke outside, for example, December uh, and uh, up to April, for example. It's cold. But here it's okay, you can smoke outside, you can uh, come in, drink your coffee, enjoy and uh, smoke outside. I hope it's not <laughs> a problem. <laughs> Pričamo sa njim sve što znam, pričamo srpski. Sve što ne znam, ruski. I think that he's gonna be bilingual, so... <laughs> But, uh, I think underst he understands Serbian more than I do. Really? Yes. yes uh, two times we try to um, spend time with the nursey. Uh, nyanya. Nyanya. You can say nyanya. Mm -hmm. And uh, she said he understood everything okay. in Serbia. <laughs> For me it's, uh, um, I don't know, very important because tomorrow he will go to kindergarten and he must understand. I think this kind of place has to be in New Belgrade as well because, uh, first of all, uh, old town is far. People here also have a passion for photography. Why not to have uh, this kind of place here? And uh, around this area, there is no such a place where you can go learn about photography, practice photography. I would say more practice than learn because the more you practice, the more you become better. There is nothing to learn. It's all about practice and um, uh, I, I practice uh, portrait photography with natural light. In the future I will implement uh, uh, some professional lighting systems but uh, for my needs I don't I don't do this commercial style photography, just uh, very natural portraits with uh, one source of light, which is the window in my case. I did in the United States, I was doing photography. Uh, prices for photography there are higher than here. Uh, it's just because uh, the market doesn't lower the price, all photographers keep it very high, and which is a good thing for a photographer, for any photographer. And I think photographers here should do the same. Don't get me wrong. People here, people here don't value, don't value uh, photographers. Don't value photography job. Uh, people here think that uh, most people, and it's not something bad. It's just because they don't know the difference between good and bad. Uh, the, most people think that photography is just a click, but yes. I think it's more than a click. It's uh, the person who is taking the photograph. 
It's uh, the way he is doing it. It's every photographer is unique in in, in his way. And uh, the more people value, the more value will go up for and quality, of course. I am already happy. Yeah. It's not like I'm looking for it. I already, I'm already happy. I'm, I was happy when I moved here from the first day. There were some difficulties, but everywhere is difficult. Nowhere is easy, and uh, uh, I'm happy. I'm happy. I'm comfortable. Even, you know, I have a difficult to speak in Serbian. I never got anybody saying me that you just have to speak. I know. Yeah, I have to learn, of course, for to live somebody comfortably, you have to speak their language. And I do, Uchimo Serbski. And I hope the next time, <laughs> if we have a talk, I speak Serbian. Mm -hmm.